Hello, Silver Sisters. It's been several months since I've done a hair update. Well, nothing's changed except that I'm growing my hair out longer. Um, right now I have layers and I do plan on growing it out much longer, probably longer than I ever had before. But um, I thought I would just do a little video about taking care of silver hair. Um, one of the reasons that I decided to go to my natural color to get away from the chemicals, I've become aware of the toxic chemicals that are in our lives, in shampoos, in laundry soaps, in conditioners, in body washes, in soaps, in household cleansers, in baby powder, baby product, body lotions, just so many, toothpaste, uh, mouthwash, there's a long list of products that have chemicals in them. Over time, those chemicals have an impact on our health. And <laughs> I don't know why this is the trend. But as people age, we start to realize, you know what? My body is not invincible. I am getting older. I can't do the things I used to do. I'm not strong as, as I used to be. Um, and, I, and, and we realize our health is, is, is going downhill, sort of. And so <laughs> we start waking up and say, you know, I should I should be eating better. I should be taking better care of myself. I should watch out for, you know, things. And, you know, I don't want to lose my mind. Uh, a lot of these chemicals can play havoc on our minds, too. So one of the reasons why I decided to stop dying after 20 years of coloring my hair dark brown and going to my natural color was to avoid the chemicals. And so I'm trying to not just do that about my hair, but I'm trying to do that in my entire life. I'm trying to just get rid of chemicals and going to all natural. Now I've learned some things about having silver hair. There's certain things that you have to be really careful about. Um, as you can see, my hair is white, almost white. It's, um, it's sort of got a blondish tint to it. I guess you could call me a platinum blonde. This is my natural color. It is not bleached blonde. I had very dark brown hair. Sometimes I colored it black, but um, and I decided to grow it out. And so I am, I am there now uh, with my natural hair color, and I love it. And some things that I've had to change about my life because I have my natural hair. One thing I need to be careful about is the sun. We are in summertime and people think about soaking up the rays. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you know that the sun dries out your skin and too much sun exposure, you can get skin cancer. But with this color hair, I have to be careful of getting too much sun. Because if I get too much sun, this hair will turn yellow. So here's my hair when it's needing a wash. You can see some of the ends have a bit of yellowing from the sun or when I used a curling iron on it. The baking soda will bring my hair back to white again. And this is my shampoo. I keep a bowl next to my shower so that I can mix. Um, and I just put some baking soda in and sometimes I will mix water with it. But today, I'm going to use hydrogen hydrogen peroxide and I just want to put just enough to make a paste. Let's give it a little bit more. Do the same thing with water. I looked at a lot of silver shampoos and they have hydrogen peroxide in them for silver hair. And so I said, well, I could do that at home. So I have a little paste that I will use it in the shower so it's ready for when I take a shower. And for a conditioner, I use apple cider vinegar. And not that I'm really worried about the smell because I always rinse it out, but I use um, lavender essential oils and I just put a drop or two in the vinegar just to give it a little extra scent but really you don't have to have the oils um, um, I do this and I ask my husband do I smell like a salad after I 
um, condition my hair and he doesn't smell anything but this makes a great conditioner I also use um, white vinegar in my laundry to soften my towel so yeah all natural ingredient no harsh chemicals no toxins and it conditions and softens my hair so I keep these supplies right near the shower and these are items from my kitchen Another strange thing that I use in my bathroom, I bought this can of uh, cheap coffee grounds and I keep them right near the shower. They make an excellent body scrub. <laughs> um, and I like to buy uh, homemade soaps. Sometimes I even make my own. Instead of blow drying, I let my hair air dry. I occasionally fluff it during the drying time. You can see that I have a natural wave in my hair, something I had not known I had all these years of blow drying my hair. I go through this process on a day when I do not have to go anywhere, like a Saturday. When my hair is almost dry, I set it in rollers. I've tried other non-heat methods of curling my hair, but the old-fashioned rollers is my most preferred method. It gives me the fullness and longer lasting curls. I keep the rollers in my hair for about four to six hours so I busy myself with a project such as a painting to let the time pass. Here I am working on one such project. It's an art project, pastel drawing. This is what my hair looks like when I remove the rollers. A bit too much curl at first. I just comb the top back and then I run my fingers through the back I usually roll my hair during the day because I don't like to sleep with curlers. So I'm going to show you how I put up my hair when I want to protect my curls after I've curled it. I'm telling you, this is two days, day two of curls, but I'll probably still do this with my hair. I um, grab a little bit of hair and put it up the sides because I like to keep the fullness up top. And I just want that part of my hair to stay. Okay, now for the back, I want to put this hair up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section my hair. Take a section. I should bring it up and then twist it. And then I'm going to just kind of gently curl it. And then I'm going to use this type of clip where it's flat. And I'm going to hook it as close to the crown, the top of my head as I can. And I'll just keep doing that and, and until I have all my hair put up and, and with everything kind of up here, this will all be flat so I can lay on this side of my head, I can go to bed on this side of my head, or that side of my head, it's no problem. So that's how, that's how I do my hair when I go to bed, when I want to protect my curls so that my curls will last a little bit longer. Here's the next morning after curling my hair the previous day. This is how I like my hair best. I only brush the top and I just run my fingers through the curls on the sides and on the back. This is my favorite way to wear my hair. Next day the curl is just right. Just enough fullness. Now tomorrow I'll have just, it'll be even more relaxed. It'll be kind of wavy. So my curls will last for about three days. In, in the method that I use with my, my rollers. Here, I only need to wash my hair about once a week, and, um, unless I has to get real dirty and all sweaty or whatnot. But um, most of the time, my hair stays pretty clean. I, I really think um, my baking soda wash is makes my hair feel so clean, cleaner than any shampoo. Shampoos leave a residue on the hair. And so I really love my baking soda. It's great. So my curls today are second day curls. And this morning I had a whole lot more curls, but this is the end of the day too, and my curls are falling out. Um, I like th this look right here. Um, it's just enough curls, it's just enough fullness, and it's very relaxed. Now when I first took the curlers out, it looked kind of wild, and so I did that last night and then so that's my hair care routine for silver hair that's gentle it's kind 
and it'll help keep your hair white and soft and lovely. Unless I find inspiration, I don't know that I'll be doing any more hair videos. Maybe when my hair is really long and I'm doing pretty some different styles with it, but um, for now, um, that really is the conclusion of my hair journey. If you haven't seen all my videos, I think I have like a 16 videos, a series of videos when I started um, going to my natural color, when I had dark brown hair, you might want to go back and look at it. If you're also interested in more um, um, healthy choices for your home and your health, uh, check, check out my blog, um, youfixitmom.com. You will find my recipe for homemade laundry soap. And I'm not sure if I put my dishwashing soap on there. If not, I need to put that on there. Um, but, and probably I'll put a blog about making soaps, um, one of these days when I get around to it. But, um, so one more look at my silver hair. And right now it's, it's in layers. A lot of things going on in my life right now. I am a grandmother to three boys so far, and that was with the motivation of my journey, one of the motivations. Uh, I knew I wanted to go to my natural color eventually, um, but I needed a little push, and that push was when my, my children said, oh, we're pregnant, we're pregnant, and I was like, yay, I got two grandbabies coming, and now I've got three grandchildren, and I want my grandchildren to know me as a lady with the grandma. The Ramama with white hair. I hope you found some help and some tips in this video and that you will learn to embrace your unique self, your skin, and your hair the way God made it. I wish I had come to these thoughts 20 years ago and I wouldn't have been poisoning myself with all sorts of chemicals. Who knows what ill effects has had on my health. Be healthy, be yourself, be authentic, embrace your age. What is wrong with age? When we're older, we are wiser. Now I'm thinking, okay, I'm past 50, so how much time do I have left? I need to make the most of it. I wanna enjoy that a little bit more. I wanna enjoy more of those grandbabies coming. So I wanna live it with good health and you know, I'm content. I'm content with where I am in life. I'm content with my, my, who I am as a person. Oh, I could be a little thinner. Um, working on that, but I'm actually quite content to where I'm at. I'm not ashamed of being 54. I'm not ashamed of my age. I'm not ashamed of my hair color. And you can be beautiful at any age. So embrace it. Have a good day.